Okay, Michael. So, how would you sum up your first season in ELMS? Uh, it's been intense, um, hugely enjoyable. Uh, I feel like I've learned a lot. It was a big step for me um, coming from the Sports Cup uh, to this. Um, so, kind of a baptism of fire, but it's been amazing. I'm quite sad that it's coming to an end yes. for this year. And have you achieved any of your goals this season? Um, I guess, you know, getting to understand um, the traffic and dealing with the traffic, dealing with the LMPs, what it's like to race in the mirrors as well as looking obviously in what's, what's in front of you. Um, so absolutely, you know, just in terms of becoming more comfortable with that format, that has been achieved. Um, And then, you know, some disappointments along the way also. Um, but, you know, that's just the way it goes, I guess, with motorsport. Uh, but absolutely happy with the way the season has in terms of how much I've learned. Yeah. Which has been your favorite track of the three we have visited so far this season? Uh, would have to be Spa. Yeah, and why? I, I don't, you know, there's just something about the history of the track. Um, the, the setting of it, I like tracks that have different undulations and um, and the fact that you drive through the forest, there's not a lot of runoff area, it's kind of, I think the old school tracks, certainly the ones that I've, I've had the privilege to, to race and visit, have a flow to them and so it's a real flow from the first corner to the last and sometimes it, when I've managed to unlock that a little bit it's a wonderful feeling. And what are your thoughts on the track here in Portimao? I love it here. This is kind of my home track. I live in Lisbon, so I've come down here and done some test days here. It's, um, I, I think out of all of the new tracks, it's my favorite. Again, it's got a, a flow to it. Um, there's elevation, there, you know, it's very challenging. There's technical parts of the circuit, there's fast corners. Um, I love it here. Yeah. And you've said your amb ambition is to compete at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. What makes Le Mans special to you as a driver? Yeah, the ambition would be to win at Le Mans, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, to race there is actually good enough. Um, why did you say? To, uh, yeah, is it what, what makes, what makes it special? special. Um, again, you know, it's the history um, of the place, and I didn't really know exactly what it was like in terms of driving it until I went there this year. We did, um, I did a, um, a, a race in the GT3 Cup car, and I just can't wait to get back there. It does something. There's something about the track that's very specific, very special. Uh, very hard to describe, actually, and there's there's um, there's an atmosphere there. That the, the fact that you're racing a part road circuit and part you know uh, track circuit, it's just a very very unique place. Yeah. And also, you know, the fact that you're racing for 24 hours, the 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 attrition of the race itself, the fact that the whole team is there um, working so hard, and you know, anything can happen in the last lap uh, of the race. You know, it's happened in the past where yeah. the lead car falls apart in the last lap. So it's just, yeah, it's the challenge of the whole thing. Has it been difficult to balance your acting career with your ambitions as a racing driver? Not really, because I've just stopped acting. <laughs> so it's kind of it's it's very tricky for me to do the racing and the acting at the same time because of insurance reasons. Um, but you know, I managed to find it. You know, if I can top and tail the season with jobs, that's good. So there is a window for me to work, um, but it has to work around the the racing season. And would you consider combining your acting and racing careers to star in a film such as Le Mans 66 or Rush if the opportunity arose? Uh, absolutely, it's been a lifelong ambition for me to, to bring this sort of sport to the screen and be part of that. It's been something that I've been working on for many years. So I am um, developing something at the moment and uh, very excited about that because as I say, it's something that I've wanted to do for over 10 years now. So uh, yeah, that's happening. Cool. Are you able to share your plans for the 2021 race season yet? Well, if 
our, the viewers tune in to YouTube, we have a series called um, Road to Le Mans. Uh, the first episode dropped on the 23rd of October and all will be revealed on that series. Okay, great. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much.